What's up, guys? Welcome back. Kind of a different situation. Soraka gets fired. Franklin makes a change at OC. Let's go back, take a look at who he hired. Let's talk today about Mike Yurcich. Let's talk about number one concepts. Let's talk about how he's going to run his offense and let's talk about things you're going to see. He is kind of an inventor of things. He likes to spread things out. He runs a very fast paced hurry up offense, but you're going to see a lot of similarities that you once saw with Soraka when it comes to the RPO game. First thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about the Shippensburg. This is 2012. I just want to show you a play. Guys, this was unheard of back in the day. You're going to see basically a counter read with the quarterback and a wheel with the H-back out of the backfield. I want you to just take it in, guys. Got the counter read look. Quarterback drops it on the, on the wheel route. Guy over the top, and he's got it open. Man, I just really thought this was fun to watch. 2012 film. It's hard to find, guys. It's hard to find. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things. Only the best for you guys. So let's take a look. You're going to see probably a lot more 20 personnel two back look. Um, you're definitely going to see some spreads. Now, what you're going to see right now is you're going to see an, an RPO concept based with a slant and a clear out. Anytime he sees two high safeties, one of his go to RPOs is a clear out by the number two and a slant by number one. Um, and it basically just puts the safety in bind. He's got a drop and the corner's got to cover this and he's just going to read one person. So basically he's reading this kid right here. If I clear out the safety with number two and run the slant with number one, this guy right here is the only one that can make a play unless that corner is just really good. All right. So what you're going to see is you're going to see how they clear it. Okay. You're going to get a clear out by number two. You're going to get a slant by number one. There's no reason to throw this ball because that linebacker is hanging out in the window. As you can see right here, it's worthless to call that play. But what this does is it eliminates this guy from the box and he no longer becomes a run threat. So let's watch from end zone so you can kind of see it. He's going to bring his cowboy back. That's what they call him in Oklahoma State. They bring him back into the concept. Here's the concept you're going to get. You're going to get a lot more wide zone. Um, then you're going to get inside zone. And for those of you guys that are not familiar with wide zone, you can go to my YouTube channel. I break it down really well uh, multiple times because I am a wide zone guy. Um, I've actually been to Oklahoma State numerous times and talked to these guys even when he was there. So right now he's just going to run wide zone, okay? And he's going to basically lock the backside because he's going to throw an RPO. And when he throws the RPO, he doesn't want the defensive even to have a clear shot on the quarterback. So he's going to run wide zone. He's going to insert the B back with the, to, with the center to the nose guard up to the mic backer. You're going to get a kick out. You're going to get a kick out. And you're going to read that kid right here. So he snaps it. He looks. The kid holds himself. That's an easy give read. But because you locked out with these two and you blocked here, it's going to create a natural running lane for your running back. And that, again, is why this play is successful. But something else you don't talk about is the hurry up that he's going to get himself into. Notice how the referee is holding the ball. It's second down and probably five, I think, in this play. All right. Notice the wide splits. I want to show you something. This is kind of a very Baylor Art Bryles-esque. A lot of the deep concepts that he's going to run, he only has one, maybe two guys on an active route in the concept. This is a true play action, and all he's doing is he's going to read this corner. This safety right here has inside leverage on this number two receiver. He's not even, he's not even alive. This guy right here up top is not alive in this route concept. This guy's alive, but he's a secondary read. The number one read right here is you're going to try to get your speed guy one-on-one -on -one with the corner. So watch what happens. You're going to get play action. So you're going to get a, you're going to get play action. You're going to get a true seven man protection because he runs the ball so well. He's going to get a nice clean pocket. And all he's going to do is he's going to read that his corner. He has an option route. This receiver can do one of two things. He can run a post. He can run a go or he can run a retrace sit down at about 12 to 15. Well, it's pretty simple. Are they do this enough? Number one guy, notice he's not even running a route. Watch how he's high-stepping. He's just messing with this kid. That's all he's doing. He occupies two guys. Now over here, what you're going to see is you're going to see the slot receiver. Really, if you notice the splits that happens right here, it's very Art Bryles issues. They're going to put these guys on islands. It ends up becoming man-to-man. -man. No matter how you look at it, it becomes man-to-man. -man. So watch the number two receiver. Number two receiver's job is to take this safety and bend this thing in and have the outlet for the quarterback if this guy blitzes. But all he's trying to do is he's trying to read this guy. He's looking at one man the whole time. He sees this guy's flat footed. He knows he can get by him and he has outside leverage. Fine. Take the inside, throw the post. I don't have to worry about the safety being there. I can just run this thing deep. And I'm going to let it rip and I'm going to go. Now, that was James Washington, a little more speed. But I think the, the Penn State receivers can do this. Um, he does take a lot of shots deep. So, again, I want to show you to you from the end zone right here. You get a nice play action look. But see how the defensive line's not really giving a pass rush? And um, this is the one thing I really do enjoy about his offense is his run game truly sets up his pass game.
and he really does do a good job of, of isolating corners with receivers one-on-one. -on -one. I have a lot of confidence in his offense. I really do love it. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a progression of this offense. So again, you're going to see the same concept here. You're going to see a clear up on number two. You're going to see a slant on number one. And this is a TCU's 425. It's going to give the boundary up. So all he's going to do, same thing you saw before, he's going to read this linebacker right here. He's going to have the concepts. You're going to see wide zone to the left. Linebacker steps up for run. Easy throw. Watch what he does. He takes it, flips it, and rips it. Easy completion. Huge yardage. Huge yardage. Okay, I want to show you this from the end zone now. So watch where he's at. If he hands his ball off, he probably still has a good play because of the massive hole one-on-one. -on -one. I think this H-back was supposed to go to here as a miscommunication because they had a walked-up safety late, and I think they just miscommunicated, which, hey, it happens all the time. All right? And so you're going to get this concept here. He knows this kid's playing the run. He's just going to he's gonna flip it, and he's going to throw the, the slant by number one to Washington again, and he's going to get yardage, okay? All right, this is the next drive. What's the answer? Well, I'm going to get in the same formation. I'm going to run the same play. Well, now it's pretty simple. So instead of bringing the front side guy over here, they put him backside so that you can't throw the easy slant. So watch, you're going to get the exact same play, clear out by two, slant by one. You're going to get wide zone with an H back lead through, and then you're going to get a huge gain because the outside linebacker took himself out of play because he brought a guy in for the RPO. I want to show you from here. So this is pretty simple. You're going to get an out out call right here. You're going to get out of a call. You're going to get a combo between the guard and the backside linebacker. We're going to work to this guy. You're going to get a kick out. You're going to get a lead block on this. And we're going to read that cat daddy right there. That's an easy pre-snap read. His hips are turned. I'm handing that ball off right now. And the fact that they do this in a hurry up is what's going to be a little more excited for you Penn State fans. All right. So literally the next play. They line up in the exact same formation, except they spread it a little further. Okay, guys are getting confused. They don't know where to go. All right, so now you're going to get the back to the play action concepts we talked about before. This is going to be the same exact formation and concept. All right, so you're going to get a clear out by number two. So he's alive. He's alive. He's dead. Watch. Play action. Okay, big play action. He's just dead. His job is to hold the safeties and watch what happens with the number one receiver. Number one receiver sees one, two, three. He knows he doesn't get to run by him. He has inside leverage, so he's going to stop it and hit it down and retrace your route back to the back to the ball. And you got a 10 yard curl route for a first down. This all happens in a hurry. People don't see how this happens. This is truly an option route down here at the bottom. OK, this is a nice, easy, clean read for any quarterback. And I've seen the quarterbacks at Penn State through our videos. And I think this is going to be something that Penn State can do. It's going to allow them to be very successful. Now we're going to watch him play Pitt 2017. You can see the hurry up that's going on right here. You can see how hurry up's going. They're running guys off the field. Referee stops it. Okay, we're going to go. So back to it. We're going to have two dead receivers. Okay, we're back to an option route with a number two guy. You have an option route with this, with this guy right here. And this guy is going to run a basically, he's going to run a dig route to hold. So all we're going to do is we're reading this. That's all we're reading unless he gets blitz. And then if he gets blitz, he'll throw the dig. But watch the outside receivers first. I want you to watch this full speed. One, two, three, stop. Up top, stutter and stop. You have two dead receivers. So these corners aren't even in a play. Now I've got two one-on-ones. I know that I'm taking this guy right here and I'm digging him and I'm taking this guy and I'm going to post or go. And this is a pretty easy read. Off the play action, we have six man protection. He has the safety's hips flipped. He's going to take the post right now. It's a great play call. I love it. I think this is going to be really good for offense for Penn State, um, especially with the young receivers. Okay, so here we go. Play action. Okay, you actually flip the guard around, which is quite impressive to do. Um, that's some new stuff. And then you're going to take your post with, and you've got to play. Big shot play based on the run. If it tells you how much they run the ball, watch the linebacker fill this right now and go, oh, crap. All right, and he had both these routes open, but you knew where he was going the whole time. One more play. This is literally the same drive. Okay, you're gonna get inside zone, but you're gonna get simple RPOs. You guys are used to seeing these RPOs. This is gonna be a go with like a bubble and a go with a bubble. All right, quarterback sees the six man box. He knows the guys are playing out. He's not worried about it. He's handing inside zone. And this is something Penn State fans are probably really used to right now. Notice it's always in a hurry. People are always adjusting. We're just gonna run inside zone with an out out. Running back reads A gap to A gap. 
He sees a gap gets held back. He's going to put his foot in the ground. He's going to get vertical right now. And that's how this play is run. Why do I show you that? Well, simply because that's something you guys should be used to seeing, except now it's going to be a lot bigger hurry up pace. Um, it's going to allow the Penn State offense to get rolling. Guys, I am looking forward to this. I think this was a good hire. I don't know if he's going to be there long because this guy is probably going to be a head coach in college football in the next year or two.